Welcome everybody, today we are working with the proximity plane. What this means is we are working with near and far sounds to create some special effects of how we want to place our sounds in our mix. Right before this one, you have listened to the panning video where you're putting sounds side to side. Now we are bringing these sounds forward and back. Some sounds you want to bring more to your listeners, bring more attention to your listeners, and some you want to bring them back. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at our project. Open one of your projects, and we are going to be looking at effects. Each track has a little photo or a little picture here at the side on the left, and you're going to click on each one. And you're going to go into effects. There's also in Soundtrap this here called Reverb. Reverb is kind of the size of the room. By adding more reverb, you're going to get more space in your sound. And it's going to sound like you could go into a big room. Or you could bring it into a little dry room where there's no bouncing off the walls or no sound going. No extra sound going on. Sing inside your classroom. Then go sing in the stairwell, and then go sing in the bathroom, go sing outside, and feel how different your voice is. We could do this with reverb. So I want you to try to bring out some sounds that you want a little further back. You're going to add a little bit of reverb to it and see what happens. So if we've done reverb, now we could do something else called delay. Click the picture. Go to effects and this will pop up. Take a look through it. I want you to bring that one in. And delay is going to be something that kind of adds echo. 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 So I could bring, I could do more or less delay, which means I could go like, hey, 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 or hey, 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 hey. And then how much of it I want in my song and how much less I want in the song. So now that you've went through each of your tracks and created no reverb if you want it close, more reverb if you want it far back, now you're going to look at which one do I want to add delay. And this will create some kind of echo to make your sound seem even further or bigger uh, than it actually is. The last thing we're going to do with the proximity plane is we're going to play with the volume faders. So maybe I want some bass thicker, then I would put more volume, maybe. And then I could do the same and bring some sounds if I don't want them as loud, I could turn the volume lower. So our proximity plane works with these three effects as the main idea. So your job today is to go on each track and see what happens when you add reverb, delay, 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 and changing the volume. You're going to tell yourself, why did you bring some of these sounds closer? Why did you bring some of these sounds back? If you are working with vocals, I want you to double duplicate your tracks and put at least three. Try putting the clean track in the middle and then the two tracks on your left pan and your right pan, put the reverb and delay on that and see what happens to your voice. This trick is often used in pop music to make the sound bigger in your chorus. Give it a try and see what happens. This is one of our shorter videos because we really want you to focus on going through each one of your tracks. So take the first track, put reverb if you want it far, add volume if you want it close, less volume if you want it further. If you want an even bigger sound or kind of an echoey sound, add delay and see what happens. Then go to your next track and do the same thing. These effects only go on one track at a time. This here is working with the proximity plane an awesome thing to do in our mix. So until next time, good luck, have fun, we shall see you again next time.